95% of the general precision turning market is successfully removing metal for finishing operations while holding tolerances of plus or minus 12 micron in production. However, many shops are struggling to hold some of the tighter tolerances that the market is now demanding, sending more work, including semi-finish work, to the grinding machine to finish the part. Yes, hard turning has provided a solution for semi-finish and some finish work, but is the average CNC lathe capable of precision hard turning to complete the part in one setup for today's tighter tolerances? Dimensional tolerances, including OD and ID, are becoming tighter. While dimensional tolerances are still critical, form tolerance has become more prevalent in today's machining applications. More accurate machine tools are required to maintain tighter form tolerances in roundness, cylindricity, true profile, and sphericity. At the same time, the industry is also demanding finer surface finishes. In many cases, a general precision CNC lathe and a grinding machine are both required to finish a part complete. Hardinge has the solution to complete a part on one machine using one operator running at higher throughput, resulting in a lower cost per part. Hardinge Super Precision Hard Turning provides the tight tolerance requirements for today and into the future. The Super Precision Hard Turning niche is where Hardinge excels and where the turning industry is rapidly moving. Key users in this sector include gauging, bearing, tooling, mold and dye and power industries, as well as grinding houses. To get a better understanding of this niche, look at the machine tool accuracy table ranging from 0 to 12 micron. Hardinge Super Precision Hard Turning falls in the range from less than 1 micron to 6 micron, overlapping grinding, diamond turning, and general precision turning. Let's compare accuracies of Hardinge Super Precision Hard Turning to general precision turning. Achieve plus or minus 2.5 micron on diameter versus plus or minus 10 micron. Achieve 0.15 micron finish on straight turns versus 0.3 micron finish. Achieve 0.2 micron finish on arcs and tapers versus 0.4 micron finish. Achieve 1 micron part roundness versus 5 micron part roundness. Overall, hardened super precision hard turning machines are capable of continuous machining accuracy of 3 micron versus 15 micron achieved from general turning. Hardinge manufactures the world's only super precision turning center, the Hardinge T Series machine, the industry leader in accuracy and the future in precision hard turning. With over 20 years experience in hard turning and over 120 years experience in designing and building precision machine tools, Hardinge can prepare you for the future of hard turning. The Hardinge T Series turning centers are capable of holding tolerances typically reserved for grinding while providing the flexibility of a production turning center. Hardinge, world renowned for super precision turning, has shown significant advancements since the year 2000. Individual accuracies are two to four times improved and can only be matched on a grinding machine. This chart shows the progression of Hardinge precision machine tools as verified to ISO 232 standards. As you can see, before the year 2000 is compared to after 2010, there has been a significant improvement in axis positioning, straightness, and alignment. For example, Z-axis alignments have gone from roughly 10 micron down to 2.5 micron. This has been achieved through advanced machine design, improved assembly processes, and machine control capability. Take a look at this setup and cycle time study of precision hard turning versus grinding where a 10 micron total part tolerance is required. The precision hard turning process takes 25 minutes in setup plus 83 seconds of runtime, while the grinding process takes 85 minutes in setup plus 183 seconds of runtime. That's a 70% decrease in total setup and cycle time. The Hardinge Super Precision Turning Center has improved small incremental axis movement capability as compared to other conventional turning centers. These small incremental axis movements provide a smooth transition on large arc cuts, providing super precision turning that is comparable to grinding type capabilities. A Hardinge Super Precision Turning Center could take the place of your semi-finish and grinding processes, reducing both your equipment and labor expense. Hard turning is best suited for parts that have less than a 4 to 1 length to diameter ratio. Longer parts are best left on the grinder. 
from a part form or diametrical tolerance point of view, parts with tolerances of 4 micron and or surface finishes of 0.15 micron are good production candidates. Although hardened super precision turning centers are capable of producing parts with much tighter tolerances once the process has been developed. Here is what you can expect from a hardened super precision T-series turning center. You can expect improved accuracies and form tolerances, improved surface finishes and statistical process control CPKs. When compared to grinding, setup and process time can be reduced by over 70%, including the elimination of downtime for wheel dressing. Fine micro finishes and metal removal rates of 3 to 5 times greater can be achieved. Off-the-shelf cutting inserts can be used instead of expensive form grinding wheels for generation of complex shapes. Automation is typically more affordable for a turning center rather than a grinding machine. Hardened Super Precision Hard Turning can expand turning capabilities to handle tight tolerance parts in the average machine shop. It is also a perfect complement for grinding houses with the ability to reduce production costs for some jobs. Process Strategy Tips for Part Preparation Prior to Hard Turning Processes, Cutting Tool Mediums, and Successful Hard Turning Applications can be found at Hardinge.com. Contact Hardinge at 800. 843-8801 and your cutting tool supplier for additional information.